we've noticed a real difference in the way the children play, in the way they interact with each other, in the way that they communicate and socialise and problem solve. And we've really noticed a boost in their confidence. Our children aren't phased by new situations because they've had experiences and go to places that they're not really familiar with. The whole philosophies uh, involved in Netley Kindy are conducive to you know kids playing in a wild space. They have a beautiful kindy setting and, and the educators have a great philosophy around taking risks and, and getting muddy and dirty and just being able to be kids and explore. The underpinning idea is that we're actually making children's learning visible. So it's less about documenting the doing and more about documenting the children's thinking, their ideas, their theories about how things work, about how life is. So the Joe Wells Reserve redevelopment uh, next door to the kindy kind of fell into our lap. We thought let's take advantage of this opportunity and give our children an opportunity to have a voice and be involved in the design of the new play space. We gave a deputation to the councillors saying these are your children of the community, they're going to be the future citizens in West Torrens council area, let's give them a voice and um, be able to be involved in designing the play space by the children for the children. When you look at the designs and the imagination and the words that the kids have come up with here, it is the children that have designed this playground. The student voices there, the way they see the world, has been absolutely incorporated into the practices of the educators here. That's been not just beneficial for us as educators, but it's been beneficial to the children and to the families and the community. Adults don't always listen to children and they feel unheard, so for them to see an adult listening to them, actually putting it on paper and then physically seeing it being built and then taking them back at the end and saying, you remember that idea you had? That's it there. And we can't always do it exactly how they said, but a modified version of it. And you can just see the joy in their face when they see that. And you know, hopefully we're creating these kids that are going to be you know, the next architects and designers and inventors of, uh, of the future. They've drawn pictures of what they would like as a design, small scale models and stuff. It's just been a great process. The children's consultation in the Joe Wells Reserve absolutely demonstrates that idea of children as active participants in their community. Those children will be able to come back and say, hey, I had a place in that design. This is my design. It's come to life. You see children as individuals that all come from different backgrounds, but all are equal. Having that respect for the child, the way that we show that is to give them that strong voice. A lot of them wanted a stage to stand on and perform, or tunnels to go in and under. I would like a big tree house in a tree, and a little ladder for the tree, and then I, I need it that tall, taller, up to the sky. I want to have a cubby house. And a big climbing tree would be fine. Like a little, like, creek that goes over a hill. Spaces for children to be seen and places for them to not be seen. Well, for them, they think that they're not being seen. We've seen evidence that they need those spaces, those hidey spaces for them to feel like they're actually in charge of their world. They know what's going on, um, but the parents can still observe them slightly. I remember seeing the trimmer There was a circle with points and a figure thing at the front where you go like this. Barry in his tractor on the hill. I like giving Barry a letter. I send it in a car to him. He put it on the back of his tractor. They've created a wonderful playground for themselves. You look at the imagination they can use on the little cave and the trees for climbing and, and the rocks to scramble over and all the rest of it. They've done a great job there. It really goes along the line that children are citizens too. The kids have been excited to be in here today. We've spent 12 months watching the park be constructed. So it's been a really big part of our learning program this year and to actually be in the space now, the kids really loved to come in and explore. This whole journey has been really organic and we're so excited that from where we started with this Reggio project to now the playground 
it's amazing. We just sit back and go, this is everything that we are trying to aim for and everything that we believe in. You know, a central place for children to come and, and be and to design that space. It's just all happens in such perfect timing.